Okay, after my successful Q8400 benching on this ASRock P45X3 Deluxe motherboard, I will be testing a Q9650 that seems uh, pretty good on water cooling. I could do like 4.4 plus in W prime at 1.4 volts, so easily at least like 4.5. That's definitely good on X48 water testing. So let's test it very quickly now on LN2 with this very same setup. I have all of the uh, profiles ready to go, etc. I need to use the North Bridge spot over there because uh, I don't want to install the heatsink back on on the North Bridge and uh, we might need the North Bridge on LN2 anyways to make the memories stable at very high FSB. That was the case with the Q8400 as well. No chance to do like 1500, 1700, 1800 Cas5 without the North Bridge on LN2. So yeah, that's the case. So uh, yeah, same motherboard, the latest retail bars from the ASRock website, the P1.5. Kimping Cooling F1 Dark CPU container with the pink thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly. I want to use the thermal paste as I don't want to use or waste KPX on these very old CPUs. Uh, Kimping Cooling North Bridge pot over there. Actually the pot itself is a little bit shorter than what it used to be by default. I actually cut a piece from the top part just to make it a little bit lower to fit with some of the uh, LN2 pots, the CPU pots that is. I think it was the, uh, the Debao Beast container or something like this. Two sticks of Corsair Dominator GDX2 memory, bin by Tapakasa MOCX from Soviet Union, Latvia, Netherlands, Switzerland, wherever he happens to live right now. NVIDIA 6500 GT, just for the monitor signal with capture card as always. And C Sonic Prime 1300 watt Platinum. I'll uh, use the same OS that I actually used on my uh, other CPUs that kind of failed. I tried to break E2180. I managed to do W Prime 32, but no go. I can still use the same OS. I'll start in Windows XP and Server 2003 is ready for the single thread stuff as always. So our target is five gigahertz plus. The highest validation will be tough. I think it's like 5.3. But let's see how the performance part goes anyways. Okay, easy post and boot at 555. Actually, I said 560, but it sets a bit lower. It's 1486, 6418, etc. Let's try to break the W prime. It should be very straightforward based on the feeling I had with the CPU. I'm at minus 73 Celsius at the moment. Northbridge at like plus five. I'm Trying to keep the North Bridge at somewhat safe value at the moment. 7426 is the top score, and we got 7421. At almost 100 megahertz lower frequency, we got the new top score. The previous top score is by Nick from Germany. He doesn't actually do old hardware that much, but yeah, nice to see some 775 benching from him as well. Let's let's see what happens. Okay, I, I, I want to push straight to. Okay, goes to five one. Actually, the top score is five seven. Five seven, and as you can probably. <laughs> It's pretty tough to hit and it's on the same board. So this board is definitely good for these locked York fields. Okay, that's five two. We want to do five. Okay, crash.
Okay, now we run the 1024 amp. It was actually better. I pushed the vehicle a little bit and we also need to maintain the good temperatures, etc. So 1024 amp, here we, here we go. So 221.202, the previous top score is by some Japanese guy, made in 2010, is it 237.796, so that's like a 16 second improvement. This is at 5.225 and he was at like 5076, so definitely good. And we actually crashed, but we managed to get the score, so damn awesome. Okay, these should be easy. High fast, well above the frequency range. Quintic, 18.2, top score in high fast from France. Yeah, 17.66. We need higher since we could double prime at this level. We want higher. Okay, we are close to the limit. There's some like memory or north bridge related thing happening at around 5 3 for benching, single for that stuff. So I think we should run the 32 amp at around this speed. The current score is good, like memory-wise, but CPU-wise we obviously have much higher advantage. So 17, 30, we are approaching like one second improvement in PyFast over the French guy. Now we will run one amp first. One amp is done at like five one. This is five three almost. It's eight point eight seventy five. I'm keeping the north bridge somewhere around like minus seventy five, CPU at minus one hundred. I think it will be 8.6, maybe 8.6, 8.875 by some American guy. Almost, so 8.70, 8.703. This can go higher, this doesn't use memory. So now we will go to 30, move on to 32 amp, which is the toughest one. And then validation. Okay, that's the new top score in Superpy 32 amp. It was actually a bit harder than I thought. Memory or something related to instability. I had to run the North Bridge at around minus 100. CPU 110. But that's the new top score. 8 minutes, 48.485 seconds. Previous top score is by Quentin again from France. 9 minutes, 4.281. So almost, almost a 20 second improvement in 32 amp. He did at 5040. CPU, this is 5267. I tried to be higher at first, but it failed. 1560 on the memory, 5645, 54, 50, uh, common rate one. ASRock P45 X3 Deluxe Motherboard. I would like to get the memories at like 1800, CAS 5. I'm sure it's possible, but it needs very cold temperatures on the North Bridge. 
but I'm sure it's possible. So damn awesome anyway. So now we got everything, we only need the validation. And for that, I should put the memories at very easy settings. Okay, let's try again. Five, four. Five, four, four, eight. So maybe five, four, four, eight. And okay, I cannot really get the high CPU-Z uh, core frequency validation top score because of a motherboard FSP limit with the CPU model. I actually saw it with the Q8400 as well at around like 595 to 600 FSP. So I need to try the CPU on another motherboard to get the highest CPU-Z uh, frequency validation, which is currently held by, I, th I think it's Ice Power from Germany at like uh, 5.73 gigahertz or so but it was 638 fsp and i only got up to like 610 but even 610 is a very nice result for a quad core yorkfield cpu but anyways i'm actually i'm running the fan because i have some moisture issues at the northbridge area because i ran the northbridge very very cold this time i really fear the battery will be annoyed by the cold temperatures from the northbridge container but uh yeah I, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I maxed out for now, but at least I got the uh, the signal for that. Or I mean, the performance test top scores. W Prime 32, very easy, sub seven seconds. We saw 6.95 a few times, and I think the best one was actually 6.906 or something, but like a half a second faster than the previous rank one score made by Nick from Germany on single stage cooling. 1024 m a very nice 16 second improvement over the previous rank one score made by that guy from japan i think like 221 versus 237 at very nice frequency definitely had room remaining pi fast i think our best run was like 17.3 something and the previous rank one score was 18.2 uh, by quentic from france i think so like uh, 0 0.8 0 0.9 seconds faster which is very nice and there's definitely some headroom remaining 1M I only ran it once and it was 8.706 so almost 200 milliseconds faster definitely could do even better if I wanted to and 32M a very nice 16 second gain or so like was it 8 minutes and 48 seconds versus 9 minutes and 4 seconds by Quentic from France the key is definitely in the memory more than on the CPU. I really need the memory is higher, but it's not a very easy thing to do. And uh, you really have to find the sweet spot temperature and everything for the Northbridge, etc. So yeah, so all of the important top scores except validation, but we did see over 5.4, so that's definitely, that's already the rank two score. So I'm definitely happy about this uh, result, but it's definitely the board. Ice power only used uh, uh, water cooling on the chipset or maybe chilled water but doesn't really matter so uh, and the rank 2 from uh, Iran I think he was also just air cooling on the north bridge but it was a gigabyte EP45T maybe UD3R that motherboard model I actually don't know why people use the UD3R instead of the UD3P maybe I should try one one of those UD3R boards myself maybe it's better than the UD3P because I actually did worse on the UD3P with the Q8400 compared to the ASRock P45 X3 Deluxe. But yeah, so all of the all of the scores are already uploaded to hardwarebot.org at the time you are watching this video. I really hope you would give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work. And yeah, let's hope the mouse battery over there is all fine even though the cold temperatures of ln2 on the north bridge i actually went down to minus 170 on the north bridge and there's no cold boot bug or maybe there is but it's not very clear but i could easily post and board at like minus 150 but yeah so hopefully you enjoyed the results and my efforts 
hopefully you would join my Patreon Discord if you want to contact me personally about old hardware, new hardware, everything. But yeah, thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again, and I will see you on the next one.